Chloe and Ruth seemed an easy prize for Carl and Claude's greedy fingers. He said in the priest's stone warning was only superstitious gibberish. The worm had crept open, uh, revealing the corpse of the lone departed. He suddenly realized his own car fate was to leave him stone dead. You have violated the shrine of Amanator. The dead will avenge the fence, and soon you will be one with the dead. Sam is a strange place to be find American, but Carl Claude, the, origin, the oriental country, means refuge. Three time loser with a murder facing him in Chicago, Claude hides out there, posing as a tourist. His way, sir, here is something far, few tourists see the train of Atomar tour. Yeah, sure, I'll be the only guy back in the States of photo of this place. I bet you say that to all the tourists. But as they step from the brilliant clearing into the dark, limbly lit shrine, Carl Claude gapes incredulously inside the temple. Strange, eerie god stands. This is off the beaten path, sir. Only amateur devotees may enter. I am a member of this secret society. Antima stands guard of the greys of the devout, who are buried in a crypt beneath the shrine's floor. Once he here tonight, Antima leaves his niche. Then he does, when he does, the dead are free to rise and roam. So they would, that rock must be worth a king's ransom. When Antima leaves his shrine, he passes through the nearby villages. Woe to him whose door the mighty god knocks. He fails to place gold or jewels in Antimor's hand. Death is his lot. I know a fence in Hong Kong who could handle that delicate mood. Have it cut up for sale. That green ice is going to be my employment plan. Late, uh, leaving his guide at hotel, Carl Claw bubbled back to the shrine. Her father so good. One saw me. No one saw me here. And no one's inside garden and rock. He's racing f- footprints. Steps echo for the dark, silent shrine as his eyes glaze, longing a fabulous gem. Going to be the easiest snatch of my career. Sorry, Buster, I got plans for this rock. According to the, what, that superstitious guy, tonight's your night to roam. Collect hand, handouts. So don't feel blue. Maybe you come back with something almost as good. What are you doing to. doing? By the emerald. The better, uh, this better be quick and and quiet. In two bounds, Carl Claw leaps upon the face. His evil fingers tighten relentlessly. It's you, if you are stayed away a little longer, you won't be keeping getting away. Well, we not won't be going away now for keeps. As a priest slumbers lifelessly to the floor, Carl Claw enters the other's temple. Temple Crypt drags the corpse to the common grave, meets the shrine. Alicia won't be lonely. At a ball, just sitting there, that gives me an idea. For maker artists like me, this little con job's going to be a lark. Rummaging for the priest's skirt chamber behind the god's niche. Carl Claw comes up with enough to costume. Almost perfect, but what superstitious loser can stop to quibble over details? Once that stone statue, since that stone statue can't move, I'll go and take up the collections for him. Only I'll pocket the frizzy seeds, slowly through the gathering dark. Carl Claw advances to the nearest village. As the the great god has left his shrine, I know enough for their lingo to realise I have got myself an announcer. With grim finality, Carl Claw knocks on the door of the first village house. I could, but I could win an Oscar for this role. Amateur law, let's dispense with the formalities. Get down to the competitions. Trembling, the Slayerese villager places sparkling gems in the claws disguised and waiting hand. 
Through the village, the mock guard passes at each door he knocks on the answering faces. There is always the same look of abject horror. And there is each tale of men seeking to avert death. Place jewel of gold, jewels of gold to perfected per, 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 hand of the false guard. This is my best con job yet. I'm going to make this day a red letter day. If I lower funds a year from now, I'll know where to come. He rounds the completed. Carl Claw heads back with the for moonlight. Trying, and his pockets filled with ill gotten loot. I'll slip out of those does inside. Get dressed, hop on the first plane for Hong Kong. But scarcely does he enter the shrine, when through the shimmering shadows he hears a strange footfall. There it is again. What, what, what was it? Sounded like stone, striking stone at the mar. He's gone. Loud and loud as the stony steps sound as the echoing shine as cold claws blood runs cold. Adamar, the stone god is moving as the stone figure advances. Cold claw turns in desperation and horror and races off in the opposite direction. But in front of him, the cold crypt slab suddenly is pushed back by a bony hand. The fetid smell of death reeks for the ins- with the incest. As Carl Claw watches with fascinated horror, a fantastic spectacle of the decaying dead coming to life. A legend, the guy said that when any more, more left his shine, the dead were, were, were free to roam. As Carl Claw starts to move, he sees the glowing fear the dead have encircled him. Get out, got to get out, got to break through, but clammy hands and mouldering flesh and cold bones form a wall of death that Carl Claw cannot push through. Suddenly and slightly, with some pre-intended purpose, the macabre wraiths drag the struggling imposter across the stone floor. No! Stop! Let me go! What do you want from me? Why are you punishing me inside this niche? Pressed in the niche by the ring of the courts, Carl sees a stone god approach a glut so that he steps. My feet can't move them. They're like stone. The agent I've got to pay him off or I'll die. I know what will buy him off the emerald. But scarcely he does his hand clutch the skull so the emerald when he turns the stone up to his waist. And before he can offer the stone god the jewel, he realizes paralyzed, I can't move my hand. I can't give him Jim. Each by inch he feels his body dying, turning in sensitive stone until only his eyes can blink and then oh they too freeze forever in a stony stare. He is lowering his hand. He isn't taking my offering. And in that moment the faithful gaze a wondrous fear in a sacred niche. There are now two avatars. End.